The term megafauna refers to the large animals that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, which spanned from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. These giants included the woolly mammoth, saber-toothed cats, giant ground sloths, and the massive short-faced bear. Their sudden disappearance has puzzled scientists for decades, leading to several competing hypotheses. One of the most prominent theories is climate change. The Pleistocene epoch was characterized by repeated glacial cycles, with large ice sheets advancing and retreating. Around 11,700 years ago, the Earth entered a warming period known as the Holocene. This transition brought about significant environmental changes. The melting glaciers caused sea levels to rise, altering landscapes and reducing the available habitat for many species. Additionally, the shift from cold to warmer climates changed vegetation patterns impacting the food sources of herbivorous megafauna and, consequently, the predators that relied on them. While climate change certainly played a role, it doesn't fully explain the selective extinction of the megafauna, as smaller animals and some large species managed to survive. This brings us to the second major hypothesis, human involvement. As modern humans spread out of Africa around 60,000 years ago, they encountered and interacted with megafauna across various continents. The overkill hypothesis suggests that humans hunted these large animals to extinction. Evidence supporting this includes the timing of megafauna extinctions closely matching the arrival of humans in different regions and archaeological sites showing evidence of large animal hunting. However, the overkill hypothesis has its limitations. For instance, in Australia, many megafauna species had already started to decline before significant human presence. This has led some scientists to propose that humans indirectly contributed to extinctions by altering ecosystems. Early humans practiced controlled burns to manage landscapes, which could have transformed habitats and made it difficult for certain megafauna to survive. A more recent and compelling theory involves the spread of disease. As humans and their domesticated animals moved into new areas, they may have brought pathogens to which the megafauna had no immunity. This hyperdisease hypothesis suggests that these diseases spread rapidly, decimating large animal populations. While direct evidence for specific diseases wiping out megafauna is limited, the concept highlights the vulnerability of isolated populations to new diseases, much like what happened to indigenous human populations upon first contact with Europeans. Another intriguing idea is that the extinction of megafauna was due to a combination of factors rather than a single cause. This synergy hypothesis posits that climate change, human hunting, habitat alteration, and disease all interacted in complex ways to drive the extinctions. For example, a warming climate could have stressed populations, making them more susceptible to hunting and disease. Similarly, human hunting could have reduced populations to a critical threshold where they could no longer sustain themselves amid changing environmental conditions. In North America, for example, the extinction of megafauna like the mammoth and mastodon coincides with the Clovis culture, known for its distinctive stone tools. The Clovis people likely hunted these large animals, but they were also living through significant climatic changes at the end of the last ice age. This combination of pressures may have been too much for the megafauna to withstand. In South America, the disappearance of giant ground sloths and other megafauna also aligns with human arrival and climatic shifts. Similar patterns are seen in Eurasia and Australia, suggesting a global phenomenon influenced by multiple interrelated factors. The mystery of the megafauna extinction is a reminder of the delicate balance of ecosystems and the profound impact that environmental changes and human activities can have on large animal populations. As we study these ancient extinctions, we gain insights into the resilience and vulnerability of species, lessons that are increasingly relevant today as we face our own environmental challenges. While we may never know the exact combination of factors that led to the demise of the megafauna, ongoing research continues to shed light on this ancient mystery. Advanced techniques in genetics, climate modeling, and archaeology are helping scientists piece together the complex puzzle of these extinctions. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Earth's fascinating history, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our world.